So I'm wetting around mm -hmm. my sunflower with a very wet brush. I'm not going to bring the blue of the sky all the way down. I'm going to let it fade out. That's enough. Enough of that. Okay, so now I'm going to use the same brush. Okay, wish me luck. Let's see how this goes. I want it tilted, but maybe not that tilted. If it's uneven, we can just say, well, it's a cloudy day. We'll do this and then I'll tip it up like that. And so I can just imagine some wispy clouds in there. See, I have a little trapped area here. Now I'm going to dip my brush in water, give it a shake so it's not as concentrated, and go over here. Okay, now I swished my brush. So much, this is much less, just most, it's just water there. And now I'm going to slurp up what's collecting here. So because my paper warped, it's be a little uneven here. All right, well, that's a very uneven sky, but that's why we have some birds moving in. And we can also put a tree in the background or whatever if, it, if something doesn't look quite right. Okay, so now I'm going to dry this and proceed. Well, this cobalt uh, granulated more than I expected, so, but that's okay. We're just going to keep going. I'm now going to re-wet with clean water. I'm, go I'm wetting the leaves, except where the leaves are really light struck. The light's coming from this direction. So I might just start up here and um, dropping in some yellow. All right, I think I'll use a smaller brush. Flashing this yellow everywhere. It's going to be yellow and green, but not where it's going to be white. So it'll go right from the flower into this leaf. I just mixed some cobalt and the yellow I'm using, and I'm just going to start. Uh, dropping it in in a few places while the, while this is wet. Doing this so I get a little flow while this yellow is wet. And now I'm going to rinse my brush and take a little Indian yellow, which is very orange. And while this is wet, I'm just going to uh, touch it a little bit up here. So now I have a little of that bright uh, Hansa yellow here, and then this Indian, warmer Indian yellow. And eventually I'll go in with some uh, dilute mineral violet when this is dry. Mineral violet, it's amazing how dilute mineral violet makes a great shadow on yellow, because that's always a challenge is how to shade yellow. I like how this first one I did, how this flower blends into the 
uh, leaf. And I'll differentiate them more later, but I, I like that flow. Okay, now I'm going to wet a bigger area and I'll be dropping in the yellows again, but they're going to, um, they're going to have very soft edges. We're keeping our whites. So the light's hitting these greens 